All right, hey everybody, what's up? Dave Krenzel here. We are at the perfect game, Nevada Baseball Tournaments. Omar runs this. These are the best tournaments in town here. I love coming here. I was a coach here, but now you guys know why I'm here. We're interviewing LVBA head coach, Eddie Gomez. Hey, how you doing? Doing good, man. Hey, thanks for coming out. How'd the first game go? Excited, good. Uh, 90 team played well today. They just got their first win, so. What was the score? 6-1. Uh, 6-1. Six to, one. Six to one. Give me any, Give me some highlights. What, what kind of guys you got on your team? What are, what's the best talent you got at this age? What age was it? Was it 9? Nine? 9U, nine yeah. So they're, they're playing AAA, which is the highest level right now for their age group. Um, they're playing really well. Uh, coach Michael Hunter is their head coach, um, so he, he did a real nice job with them. Um, they swung it. Uh, there are two, two pitchers for us. They threw, uh, I think they gave up a four hitter in six innings. And at the youth baseball level, that's that's really nice. That's kids, really good. Kids throwing strikes, that's the that's important thing. Well, what's the difference with Little League compared to club ball? Yeah, the biggest jump is going to be the rules uh, and, and things they're doing with the rules. Uh, Little League, you're not taking leads. It's a little bit more difficult to advance on, on pitches and things like that. But these kids are playing straight up baseball, drop strike three. It, it, it adds a lot to the game. So, I mean, do you think that it's a good thing to be in this competitive, uh, you know, arena at this young of an age and playing this many games a year? Yeah, there's definitely some pros and cons to it. Uh, and at LVBA, we definitely think there's a, a good amount of games to be playing. Um, definitely don't want these kids playing over 100 games of a year, you know. At, at the high school and college level, you don't even play that many games, uh, you know. So for a nine-year-old to be doing that, you know, we, we definitely want to limit that. And this is one of the reasons why also I like Mike Martin, LVBA. You guys have been around for 35 plus years. Uh, your dad coached at Durango. You are just baseball blood in this area right here. Um, I, I played 142 games in the minor leagues. I had a chance. You got spring training and then the major league guys play 162. There's no way a kid should play that much. But this, this is the thing though. LVBA, you guys are so good at keeping kids safe. Pitch counts not over you know use and abuse stuff like this like over using kids like talk to me more about that yeah um you know pitch counts that's that's a whole big other conversation at the youth level uh all of our guys are throwing fastballs and change-ups right now and what we're trying to develop in, in nice. practice is is healthy pitching mechanics um so with a good fastball change-up mix and as long as those kids are have quality throwing mechanics you feel safe uh, about them on a, on a pitch count basis but Trying to monitor them over the course of a weekend, that's definitely something else to keep in mind. And at right. LBBA, we don't allow the kids to play Little League because we want to be able to monitor that and protect kids. Uh, we don't want them to come out here for a weekend, make all these throws, and then show up to a Monday night game in Little League and somebody throws them another, Not good. another 60, 80. Not good. So pitch counts, you guys are eliminating the factor of Little League with your program, which I do like. I think that uh, you know going all in with a club ball team, is it's huge, man. The, the kids learn so much. Yeah. Um, give me one reason why... <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, good. Give me one reason why, if you had a kid watching this, you had a parent watching this, why would they want to go and play for LVBA compared to all the other club balls here in town? Yeah, there's uh, a lot of great programs in town. Um, LVBA specifically is, is focused on player development. Um, you know, we're here for the long-term goal. Uh, our, our main goal is making sure our kids are prepared for the next level of baseball, which is high school baseball. Uh, we want to make sure they're prepared and, you know, uh, similar to what you're doing, we want to make sure they have an understanding of position responsibilities for all nine spots on the field. Mm. Um, so even though some kid may play shortstop for us now, uh, at 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, they may show up as a freshman in high school and be asked to go play left field. Right. Uh, and, and we want to make sure they, they know all those responsibilities that come with the position. So, Dude, that's huge, man. That's huge. I uh, appreciate you talking about the situations in baseball. IQ is live right now. Nice, cool. My speed routine is coming up, man. You knew I was fast, right? No. 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 speed demon? I was a speed guy. 6'2", 360, dude. 6'2", 360. When I was a young kid I this age. I had legs. Couldn't run. Bro, you were a catcher guy. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, man, it's okay, though. There's there's specialties in this game. You gotta have something special to go somewhere. I do know that. So talking about the big league formula, you just checked out situations of baseball IQ. What do you think? I, I'm really excited. All, all the graphics is is really important for kids, and kids learn in so many different ways. You need to be able to speak to them in different ways. One kid is gonna learn something differently right. from the next kid. So I, I think in your program specifically, specifically just the the little uh, of it I've seen so far. Uh, the, the interaction with major league players' faces and stuff like that, that's going to keep kids' attentions. Uh, you know, they like to hang out on iPads and their phones now. And they do, man. Coach. <laughs> Thanks, dude.
Uh, and if you could, uh, and if the kids can get locked in and see their favorite player, uh, they're going to be a little bit more in tune uh, and following along. So I, I think that's what's really, really cool. Awesome, dude. Well, I appreciate your time, dude. Yeah. Best of luck to you in this tournament and this Thank whole you. this whole season, man. And I know, like, club ball is like a big family thing out here in Vegas. And, dude, I just hope that everything goes well. All your parents are happy. All your kids are having fun. They're learning. Yeah. And uh, you get everyone dude. happy and, and safe out Ooh. here right now. So excited to be playing baseball in Vegas. Again. It's tough, but you know what? Right now, I think everyone's happy to be out here. Yeah. Everyone's happy. Hey, hey, peace out. Thank you, dude. I appreciate yeah. you. Anytime. Cool. Awesome. Good luck Thank to you, man. You.